So there you are, you're in the Ethiopian restaurant and you're getting a great sample platter. You're looking across the injera and saying, oh, do I want that one? Do you want that one? Do you want that one? The first one I always go to is the cabbage and carrots. I don't know what it is about that, but it's such a, a tasty treat. And we're going to make this, and it's very easy. It's going to be a little cabbage, some carrots, some onions, and some turmeric, cumin, salt, and pepper. As simple as that. So let's get started here. I'm going to chop up about a half head of cabbage here thinly you're going to hear me say thinly a few times when we're talking about this so I'm going to thinly chop this this, this cabbage because you're going to be cooking it for a while and about a, yeah, about a half head and you'll end up with a bowl of of cabbage if your bowl is the right size of mine anyhow so anyhow pretty thin sliced cabbage just like like this all right so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my four carrots i'm going to thinly slice those up clean them slice them thinly did i say thinly that's what we're talking about here thin carrots because thin carrots are the best carrots so i hear Unless you like the thicker carrots, because we're really not the judgmental type here. But we're going to be making thin carrots on here, and we're going to be chopping up four of them. Oh, that one was thick. Caught me, didn't you? You're always watching, aren't you? Just like you should be always watching Cook Like a Bastard. When you want to see any of our shows, just go to cooklikeabastard.com or on our YouTube channel at Cook Like a Bastard. And like that, you have four thinly cut carrots. So we're talking about some doing some thin slicing and what else can we thin slice? The onions, the ever challenging onions. We're getting better. I swear we really are here. We're learning better onion technology, making it more tear free, more tearless, more, I don't know what it is. I just, I just love this Ethiopian food. So cut these guys thinly because when you cut them thinly you get to slice them more and there's nothing much more fun than watching us slice onions thinly. And as long as you're in the cutting mood you might as well think about cutting your potatoes. We're going to be cutting up five potatoes in you know bite-sized cubes. These are going to be put in a little bit later though in the process uh, but again while you're cutting there after about 20 minutes of simmering this stuff you're going to put the potatoes in but let's let's cut them up now because you want, don't want to do any more cutting after that point. But easy, remember, easy Ethiopian. So we make systems that make things easy. Okay, now that you've chopped everything up, we're going to heat up a half cup of olive oil. I'm going to let that warm up just a smidgen in our, our brazier here. So after you let the olive oil warm up for a little bit, you pour in, pour in your carrots, make sure it doesn't splatter on you. And your half cup of onions. And then chop these up so all the pieces come out. You're gonna be cooking this for a little bit so it's all gonna break down. Then you're gonna let these simmer for about five minutes before you put your spices in. So after about four or five minutes, everything's going to soften up. You see, there's still a lot of oil in here because oil is kind of part of, of the flavor here. So we're going to be adding um, the cabbage that we had, and that was a half head of cabbage. Half head of cabbage is one heck of a lot of cabbage, isn't it? Good thing we didn't use a full one. It wouldn't fit. Going to use a um, half teaspoon of, of pepper, another half teaspoon of salt, Take some turmeric, uh, about a quarter teaspoon or maybe a little bit more if you want. And some nummy cumin. How much cumin are you guessing? Can you measure that? Yep, well, you're right, half a teaspoon. So we mix these guys together and then this is going to cook for about 15 minutes. And then after that point, we're going to add the five potatoes that we've already cut. It's time saving because it's easy Ethiopian here on Cook. Like a bastard!
Look how beautiful this is. The cabbage and the carrots are just, man, the onions are just mingling together saying, oh, I taste better. No, you taste better. No, I taste better. Together they taste get better. And what's going to make them even better? We're going to add five potatoes to this mixture here. And after we put these in, we're going to cover this up and we're going to cook it for 15, 20, 30 minutes until it gets softened. You all know exactly when it's done. I would start at 20 minutes. It's not done yet, go to 30. It's very easy. Don't follow the rules. Just cook. That's why we do it here. We cook like a bastard studio. So once you get this mixed in, you're going to want to cover it up, turn the heat down a little bit, and then you're going to simmer for 20, 30 minutes. One of my dishes, Ethiopian cabbage, ended up being very easy to make and boy, if it tastes anywhere along with the way it smells, I bet you it's going to be great too. It tastes better than it smells. What a great little dish here today on Cook. Like a bastard.